probably better. That's probably better for that <laughs> I need a second take there. Hello and welcome to our third ever Illini Disc Golf Podcast, our National Championships Recap. My name is Dalton Hastings, and I'm joined by Caleb Martin and Liam Kelly and Nick Buddycomb. Double and. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so this will just be topics of the day, kind of going over our Nationals experience. We have Liam here who played on our blue team, our B team, and D2, so we can provide multiple course reviews and kind of just how rounds went overall. Caleb and Nick were both there filming. Thank you so much to them for coming out mm-hmm. all that way just to not play disc golf. Yeah. Well, <laughs> we I played some rounds. disc golf. We did disc get golf a couple of rounds. <laughs> yes, yeah. But um, definitely a fun time. So why don't we just jump right into it? Oh, yeah. Um, let's start off with uh, the courses that we played. Yeah. So Orange Team, our A team, D1. We played a singles round on Winthrop Lakefront. Mm-hmm. Then we followed that up with a doubles round at Winthrop Lakefront. Mm-hmm. And then a doubles round at a uh, Westminster. Yeah. Uh, different course. A little bit farther away, but not too bad. And then we finished on Championship Saturday. This is a Wednesday to Saturday event at um, Winthrop again. Yep. So you guys play a little bit different. Yeah, we, uh, we played singles at Camp Canaan, which the A-teams didn't even play. Um, then we went to Westminster, which you guys did play. That mm-hmm. was our first doubles round. Then Winthrop for our second doubles round, and then back to Westminster for yeah. the final round. And then that Winthrop round will be the only B team coverage we have on the channel. Yep. We did commentary for that yesterday, so keep an eye out for that. Um, what did you guys think? I thought it was interesting they had you guys play Winthrop three times. Especially was, for the singles. Exactly, right? And that like, wind was brutal. Yeah. Uh, with not a lot of practice, that course can really get sneaky on you. Yeah. Um, I mean, that's kind of just our fault sometimes, yeah. but also, like, hey, a lot of hazard, a lot of OB. I like it for doubles. Yes. Um, my for doubles, dad, it seems like a good course because there is so much OB, and so, like, you get the couple chances to maybe throw one inbounds. Or one OBs are more possible, even exactly. though it's kind of an easier course yeah. just because of the, the OB and the hazard. My dad came out, and he saw us at Westminster and uh, Winthrop. And his comment was just how much prettier Lakefront was, <laughs> which I, is kind of a shot at Westminster. But I didn't think Westminster was a bad course at all. I think no. that would have been a great singles course. I agree. Personally. Absolutely. I am yep. baffled that they didn't have the D1 players play Camp Canaan. I really am. I heard it was I nice. thought it was way nicer than Westminster and honestly prettier than Winthrop. Wow, that's wild. Wow. It looked cool from the ho- like the two holes we saw yeah, on I mean, like <laughs> video and on the College Disc Golf channel. But yeah. I mean, everyone's seen the, the spiral staircase basket. Oh yeah, not a fan. I'm not a fan of that one. <laughs> How I, many I, I made did you take on that? One. I only had one. I <laughs> guy on my card took four. Oh, <laughs> so I, you know, it was a struggle. It's cool yeah. though. I mean, Winthrop is kind of known for being a little bit gimmicky, but that's kind of just the USDGC layout with like the the mozzarella sticks, all the hazards and stuff. Yeah, which we didn't. The only thing we really played was the hazards. Mm-hmm. There were elevated baskets, but they were legitimate, normal height elevated baskets. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, Nick, what do you think, Philman? I mean, I definitely agree with what you're saying about the the why the three rounds at Winthrop. You know, yeah. it totally made sense that you do at least the singles round over at Westminster, or like I say, get over to Camp Canaan if possible. But um, yeah, that just if anything, it just seemed like a lot of the same. You know, even exactly. from a filming perspective, like by the third day, yeah. we were already splitting up and, and saying like, hey, you know, we've seen a lot of Winthrop at this point, and uh, you know, let's go actually do something else. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, there's also so many courses in the area. Um, there's one other course we didn't even mention, which is Meadows, right? Which yeah. is next to Win- uh, Winthrop uh, Lakefront, and it was a good course. Yeah, definitely shorter. I know they played uh, D3 there, yep. and the actually, women's. and the women's. And women's yeah. So um, I think there was only D1 women's, but there is like so many courses in the Charlotte area as well, which yeah. I don't think I know a lot of teams were staying up in Charlotte area just because yeah. of the housing yeah. situation. Mm-hmm. So I mean, maybe in the future they can incorporate those because we played Nevin. That course was amazing. Awesome. Doubles there would be triples. incredible. Yeah, we the triples, triples there, and it was awesome. It was five hours, and it was the best five hours. <laughs> it was awesome. It was so worth the trip up there. Oh, yeah. um, we didn't That'd even get to play Hornet's Nest. Yeah. yeah, that would be. We didn't get to play Hornet's Nest, which is also a famous course out that way. But, um, yeah. Overall, I think the event was run really well. Definitely. Um, I brought some players pack stuff to show. I didn't bring everything. Um, so... First disc we got to choose from was this new Moon Dust. These are all Champ Mako 3s. Uh, I kind of went with the yellow theme with my disc. <laughs> but uh, yeah, these are pretty cool. Yellow. I mean, yeah. I saw, I think Brennan was throwing his around. Brendan was throwing Avery. his. Uh, Brendan had one with an avocado on it. That which was I liked. cool. That <laughs> I was really it. cool. Uh, this one's strawberry. And w- the detail on this is incredible. It's like a rainbow stamp foil. And then it has like college disc golf na- national championships on the um, sunglasses. And then it has like 
the sell by date and that's the date we were there which oh, is nice. like really the attention detail is incredible yeah, yeah, yeah uh that's innova obviously and then they had the college just called buzz which uh this buzz actually flies really nice it Dan was throwing nice. it in the round that's yeah. wild flies more on the overstable side he's got a chunk taken out of it immediately oh. unfortunately <laughs> um but really love the stamp and then we got this makani which is kind of like uh it's like an ultimate disc i think they call yeah, it like a, a hybrid stable. catch disc yeah so. which is like if you're looking for a this is not a glitch i will say that no, no. but <laughs> it's it's, it's much honestly pretty overstable. it's an ultra star yeah. it's yeah it's it, like a mini ultra star it's not um, one you would actually bag, but it actually felt a lot better for playing catch with. Oh, exactly. yeah, yeah, it felt 100%. Much, much it's more like a really high quality catch disc. Yeah. Exactly. And actually, what was really cool is that there's a lot of room on these. So, like, Nick got his all of us to sign his. Yeah. And I should do that as well. Yeah. Um, but that's a great idea. And then we also got these really nice shades. Um, Boys were rocking them all week. With these headphones on. <laughs> but these were actually really nice. Oh, yeah. Everyone was kind of rocking them. They were everywhere all over the course as well. Yeah. <laughs> People leaving them. Yeah, you go watch the coverage. But, uh, Dalton's wearing those. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, they were, they were awesome. It was also really bright out. They do. They pop out. They do. A little bit. But um, I'm not going to complain about free stuff. Exactly. So. <laughs> no way. We also got a $10 coupon to the Innova store. Mm -hmm. which yeah. had, they had a tent. And there was a lot of stuff there. A lot of college stamp discs. Really cool discs. Really cool stuff. Yeah. yeah. A lot of leftovers, too. So I think they actually still some, have some on the website if you want to go check that out. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah. So great players pack. And um, this was my first major. How about you? Yeah. As well. Yeah. yeah. It was kind of awesome to see, like, get your name announced, yeah. your school. Exactly. Oh, it was pretty cool. It really it makes first, it feel like a major, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. It was my first time out of a B tier. So, I mean, it was... <laughs> Same. It was pretty awesome. Yeah. A little step up for you, yeah. That was wild. But, um, I mean, yeah, just an awesome event overall. Yeah. And uh, I think we want to jump into uh, some of the standings and how everyone yeah. finished. Yeah. Um, so, do you want? Let, why don't we start with D2? Okay. Oh, um, sounds good. I mean, uh, UNC, Rod... Chapel Hill, I believe, yes. took it, right? They took it down. They did. Yeah. That was a it was a it was a nice score, I have to say. They played quite well. It looks like this one D two also went We to went to a, a playoff. playoff. They wow. did go to a playoff, yeah. That looks awesome. Yeah. Another an Ohio team versus Charlotte team. That's kinda of funny. <coughs> yeah, yeah Dayton, wait, that's up there. wild. Yeah. And then UNC Charlotte, yep. who won the the D one, yeah. taking third in yeah. the D two standings, uh, tying with Iowa State and Utah Valley University. Uh, huge shout out to Utah Valley University shooting. Oh my God, 12, uh, 12 down on Winthrop so Lakefront, many. which oh is I think God. the hot round overall. Across the board, overall, right? yeah. I mean, I'm gonna make an excuse for all D one teams here. That was the nicest day. <laughs> there was no doubt. The weather was completely different the day yeah. that y'all got to play it. Yeah, yeah, but that's like crazy to me. Um, I think. UNC kind of <coughs> just taking it down, shooting really well. Dayton yeah. up there as well. Um, UNC had the best singles round, it looks like. Yep. 47. Yeah, and that's ridiculous. That is very good considering a lot of – but it kind of shows you that um, singles rounds do not dictate yeah. how the rest of your tournament goes. No, not at all. You can make up a lot of strokes. So for every four strokes in singles, it's only one stroke yep. in doubles. Mm -hmm. So doubles definitely plays a lot harder. Yeah, it definitely um, ends up mattering the least. Yeah, so they shot seven down singles wise which on is, average, which is really, really good. Amazing. Um, yeah, pretty much. Any any thoughts by you, Caleb? On D two? Yeah. Uh I didn't get to watch a ton of D two stuff. I just filmed the round that yeah. they played. Mm -hmm. Um so and they <laughs> were not near the top, no offense, no. Liam. But, yeah. Uh, so you <laughs> not guys got seventy four. It was pretty bad out of eighty. Yeah, but you guys, this was a learning experience. for Hundred percent. Right? We're building really the fun. team. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, and two of you guys aren't even rated on this exactly. one. Exactly. Exactly. And, and I want to give right. a shout out to Brendan in his first ever rated, rated round, rating nine forty two. That's pretty incredible. All right, but if we're shouting out Brendan, we also got to shout, shout out, out Liam. I wasn't gonna do it. <laughs> yeah, you can't. Shout <laughs> Liam, what'd you shoot? No, tell us. Come on. Nine fifty two. Oh, what a guy! Like getting up to eight ninety six. Yeah. I think you play I'm, better I'm than unhappy that for about sure. that. Yeah. I'm unhappy about. <laughs> you'll get you'll get to 900. Yeah, yeah. I need to. But, but funny funny story is that every tournament we've played so far, Brendan has lost to me by one stroke. Oh. That's hilarious. Oh. That's amazing. <laughs> Which is he's 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 getting a little fed up with it. I have to say. <laughs> oh man. Did but, he not play Brave the Midwest? No, he did. He was a stroke behind me. Oh. But he didn't get rated oh. from that. No, he was. It was he didn't have a PDGA number. Oh, interesting. Oh. So he got his PDGA number right before that tournament so it hadn't been like a it, it was something I, I i just know he played it and didn't get a rating for it interesting mm, and he was really happy about that yeah we didn't <laughs> none of us played well at brave so. yeah that's yeah. learning experience again but yeah i mean so kind of the mindset of having bringing a d2 team is like 
even if you know you're not going to compete, is the development for the future years of for the sure. competitive team. Because, yeah. like, you and Brennan and Carter and Avery are the future of the club being yeah. freshmen. Yep. So since you guys are all eligible next year, it's, like, definitely a huge uh, advantage to have that under your belt. For Especially sure. playing a major. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Those koozies on the baskets oh. make, reminding oh, you yeah. every hole that you're playing oh, yeah. major. <laughs> But yeah, so I'm gonna shout out. D3. And I mean, also just to make the trip more fun, though, you want as many people yeah. to come out as possible. Hundred percent. The Airbnb was tight. Well, a little tight. Yeah. <laughs> that's true. That we'll is, just get a bear. That's one. on us. That's, <laughs> that's on a us. good point. That's a good point. But um, I'm definitely I'm gonna shout out D3 uh, winners real quick. Uh, Liberty taking it down. Yeah. Kind of handily, 51 under par yeah, overall. That's Liberty a lot with of under par. with three teams in D3. Which well, they're <laughs> from they're from. Uh, Virginia? Uh, Lynchburg, Virginia. Yeah. yeah, okay, that sounds about right. And uh I mean they just killed it. Yeah. They got first and fourth. Yeah. I think the Charlotte team. UNC they also got Charlotte sixth. as well yeah. and NC State. Wow. I mean I don't And think then Liberty got sixth. <laughs> I think <laughs> Liberty got sixth. Yep. Oh my god. They tied. <laughs> so they got three teams in the top six. That's incredible. And then Cincinnati. Uh, that makes sense too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So honestly, it kind of looks like besides Cincinnati, a lot of teams that get to practice these courses. Yeah. Which yeah. I mean makes, makes complete sense. Yeah. So on that note, why don't we go to uh the D one, which is what we played. And then we'll wrap it up with women's after that. But this was kind of a crazy finish. It was if you haven't watched insane. it, go watch the PGA coverage. I think Gatekeeper Media also did a piece yeah. on it. Mm-hmm. Um, we let's start with us. Why not? Yeah, yeah. we got tenth. How do you feel about tenth? Not great. Uh, not great. Tenth is good though. We left a lot of strokes out there. You, I think you definitely did, but tenth is still like an yeah. achievement. I think you club. can look at one thing on the score on the scorecard. You can look at that singles round, a, a sixty-eight compared to the fifty-fives and the forty-sevens. Yeah. But like, I mean, the, that's kind of comparative to a lot of the other schools that's, that that's, are around that's us. That's fair. That's fair. Definitely wish we got more practice on the course, especially yeah. in those wind conditions. Yeah. It was really tough. Um, but I mean, I thought we played well. We definitely. I mean, we probably left uh, seven putts inside forty feet. Yeah. Get away from us. Which I mean, if you add that in, I know that's saying a lot. <laughs> we get within two strokes of the lead. So yeah. I think you know we that made four or five of those, and we're really <laughs> we're pushing top five. Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, yeah. you guys, you guys had a chance to be up there. It's just the little things that happen on the course, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. What it coulda shoulda. Yeah, happens every time. And Ferris State, fourth place, and the singles winner, right? Oh yes, yeah. right. Yeah. Oh. Oh, so yeah. yeah. So they had Benji Zorn, who won the the singles overall, mm-hmm. kind of in a really cool fashion because he was even going into that yeah. final nine, um, and then shot three down, three I down, think three right. down yeah. to take the lead over. I think it was Ilkin yeah. was, came in second, yeah, and then the someone else started the round at three down, but did yeah. not was not able to hold on. So very difficult. Also very windy during that round as well. Yeah, getting colder too. So yeah. later during the day than some of the other rounds. Mm-hmm. So for sure. Yeah. When you look at single scores, I mean, it's kind of hard not to mention Emporia State. Yeah, uh, they shot really well. I think huge advantage being like not they probably practice as much as us, but yeah. being from Emporia, like. It's really windy out there. Yeah, yeah right. exactly. Yeah, this yeah. was their conditions for sure. Uh-huh. I mean, it's kind of your guys' conditions too. I mean, around here, it's yeah. very windy. Yeah, they're playing. They're playing Emporia Country that's Club. That's true. And we're you know, dots. it's very different. Right. Of course. That's a very different. <laughs> but to be fair, I mean, I was I was kind of practice putting with one of them at one point, and they have the spinniest putts ever. Yeah. They're like <laughs> they're chest hundred percent basket lasers. Yep. So I think that's what all they you need can to do survive out there. Yeah, <laughs> right. That's probably true. And they have a really cool coach. Yes. Yeah. Eric McCabe. I mean. We have Nick though, so we kind of exactly. got him. Yeah, right? I mean, okay. levels. <laughs> it does. It really. I mean, does. I don't see him on on the podcast Ex- right now. Exactly. You know? That's all he I'm not. <laughs> you got him there for sure. Where's Nick's world championship? <laughs> Give it to him. Stop the count. Oh. I decided it too late. I said I probably would have hit that in my twenties. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> That's amazing. Um, but yeah, so Emporia State coming up fifth, Ferris State fourth. NC State, which they had a really good showing as well. Yeah. yeah. Um, also a local-ish team, 25 down overall. And then Cincinnati and Charlotte tied and went to a playoff. Yeah. So this is kind of the craziest because you and UNC Charlotte had a four-stroke lead going yep. into the final round at Winthrop. Yep. Winthrop. Also, do not uh, kill us for the pronunciations <laughs> on these courses. Apparently, they're very difficult. Um, but so they had a four-stroke lead, and they were two over through six holes, yeah. which is kind of ridiculous <sighs> to think about. Because, yeah. like, that's not what you want to do in doubles. No, um, absolutely not. But, I mean, you're leading in I mean, how many bogeys did you have to take, like, all year? Like, Oh, this is a great shout-out. <laughs> uh, we took – so, UIUC A-team took two bogeys all year. That's crazy. Yeah. Northwoods Black hole nine <laughs> and hole 13 at Winthrop Lakefront. And almost made and it, it was, the whole year, right? What was it, the last round that that happened? Yeah, yeah. hole 13. It was a bad I mean, kick. 
It was a bad kick. They were bad throws. <laughs> <laughs> but it was a bad kick. The yeah. one kick was, it could have kicked and sat down and would have been a par, yeah. but it was definitely tough. Uh, very proud of our team for that one. But So they were two up through six, six holes, holes I believe. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to go look at their round real quick. But, yeah. you know, I mean, the pressure of leading a college national oh, championship. Yeah. yeah. It's definitely tough. Definitely. Not yeah, something you can't you really... maintain that pace the whole time. It's one of the things we talked about in the last podcast leading into this is that, like, yeah. even the people who get ahead, you know, other people are going to catch right up to them with some of yeah, these exactly. hot rounds. And then the wind's different later in the day, too, oh, possibly. Yeah. Changes like, stuff throughout like the day. Yeah. Especially yeah. with sure. all these people playing. Exactly. I mean, how many people played? Like, 600? Something, something like that. It was something 750 crazy. was the number they kept throwing around. Yeah, that's, you yeah, know, it's like the, the total. Yeah, it's yeah. awesome. Yeah. It's a lot of people to have to play disc golf. smaller than I thought. Really? It was smart. Yeah, I didn't realize that they really limit the amount of bids they give yeah. out for that, which I think is smart. Yeah, but also, so then 100%. you look at D2, and it's stacked. Yeah. yeah 2,000 rated players in the D2 field. Well, there, yeah. there was a several A teams that were still in mm-hmm. the D2 because yeah. I think, know, there were I think, enough uh, in D1. I think UNC was an A team, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Minnesota. I think yep. three of the top, like, five or ten were, yeah. were A teams. Yeah. So it, That's crazy to think about. Yeah. Wow. But then, so the other thing is, is that uh, Cincinnati wasn't even on Charlotte's card. So coming down the stretch, they were looking like, oh, they shot nine down, which was one of the hotter rounds on the yeah. day, which is a fantastic really round of the weekend. Yeah. Almost. Yeah. yeah, except that D two team, <laughs> <It's> <laughs> wild. That Utah Valley State. I mean, shout out them. Um, but yeah, so they really pulled it together, and then I think well, we all know this: the drama came down to that last hole. Yep. Yeah. So Charlotte or Cincinnati's in the clubhouse yeah. at um, twenty seven down. Charlotte's going into the last hole, hole 18, which is typically a par four for the pros, yeah. but we're playing as a par five, knowing they need to eagle. Um, a daunting task. Daunting like, yeah. eagle. Yeah. We were playing Winthrop Meadows at this point, yeah. so we were on hole yeah, three. Yeah, we just happened to be nearby. Yeah. We, were, yeah. we were close. And, um, well, they, I mean, go watch it for yourself. It's probably all over Instagram as mm-hmm. well. Yep. You've probably already seen it if you're watching yeah. this podcast. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's like a, a 90, I don't want to give it 75 75, 75 well, footer. We can give it 80. 80, 80. I like 80. Downhill, C3. definitely wind plank. He, it looks like he didn't think it was in. No, he no, walked he away. Was, no, he, he walked, walked away. away. He was off. And screen. it was all cage. It, yeah, that putt would have gone in on an old basket. Yeah. yeah but, and even uh, though there's a video of it floating around, there's no pictures on the scorecard. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's yeah. crazy. So, I mean, talk about clutch of clutch. Yeah. Seriously. I mean, seriously. Um, Amazing putt. Yeah, and, and then all the teammates run over. It's super, that was really it, cool to watch. Yeah. That's what I was about to bring up. It's yeah. just like the yeah, camaraderie. They had a big crowd by that point. I mean, exactly, again, it's the right. advantage being with the last yeah. ones. Everybody was crowding around. Yeah. yeah, I hate to bring this up, but then they pan to, to a Cincinnati, Cincinnati guy. guy, and he's just like, it was. I mean, I feel that. Yeah, absolutely. It's a dagger. Yeah. But I mean, it's kind of cool that you don't win because they miss a putt. You uh-huh. know? Yeah, you, exactly. If you win, you want to win because you got the best of them on a right. hole. Yeah. Like. Well, well, I mean, I think they would still just take the win if I mean, they could. I would too. I'm just saying. Like, I, I'd say going back to back is nothing to complain about. But. Definitely not. But uh, so then it goes to a playoff. Um, they both birdie hole one, which is kind of a birdie of a hole. Yeah. Um, the way we were playing wind. in is tough. Yeah. Hole two playing a lot easier on the last day than the second day and the first day because of the wind. It was a right to left helping wind, so you could throw a big hyzer instead of having to like throw something yeah. over the water. Um. And then hole three, the infamous beach hole, yeah. uh, the UNC Charlotte just parked it. A birdie there is real nice. It is real oh, nice. Yeah. yeah, it's definitely just you know that low penetrating Heiser flip ten speed disc yeah. if you have it. Um, they didn't even enter Cincinnati score on that hole on the yeah. score part. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of funny. They might not have even putted. What's going they on? They definitely putted. Oh, oh, they might they, not have tapped out because right, they, they right, putted. Right. They had like uh, I think it was like a forty footer. Um, yeah, they, they had a chance. It was out putt. There. Yeah, yeah. I think Ilkin and his partner were on that. So. It would have been really cool to see them hit that and then have it come down to hole four, which is the triple Mando yeah, hole, the yeah. bamboo yeah. hole. Yeah. Iconic. But, you know, would have been awesome. I still think the the ending played out in a fantastic yeah. fashion. Yeah, so, yeah, I agree. Beach hole, still a nice one to end with. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. definitely. 100%. I mean, it's a normal. And both UFC these teams season. are obviously fantastic, filled with fantastic players yeah. across the board. Yes. Just a huge shout out to them. Yeah, they yeah. do. A, their programs deserve that shout out for yeah, sure. 100%. For Something sure. that we kind of want to replicate one day. Oh, yeah. yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, that's, um, that's you. Next couple of years, don't come on. Let's hope. Yeah, come on. If, if you hold eligibility. Come on, from Liam. <laughs> <laughs> it's this whole table, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> it's, maybe, maybe. Kind of is. I mean, they call me old. I'm a sophomore, but you're, you're a freshman. You got more yeah, years than me. Exactly. So. I got I got a year to get up to what 996, and then I'll be I'll be ready. Right. <laughs> that would be really now. impressive, Liam. <laughs> that, that would be crazy. That would be crazy. Um, so why don't we just gloss over or not gloss over? Sorry, let's uh, not gloss over the women's as yeah, well. Yeah, the opposite of gloss over. Yes, let's yeah, dive exactly. in. Yeah, um, yeah. so women's is definitely is a little bit different of a format. Yeah, there aren't as many um, 
women who play in college disc golf. So yeah. they they cut the teams down to only two people. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They also let some singles yep. women play, which yeah. I thought was pretty and, cool. And they pair them yeah, randomly they pair them with random. the other singles. Do they really? Yeah. yeah. Wow, that's awesome. I love seeing that because you know that just allows pe- more people to get out here. And yeah, exactly. overall, I mean, twenty nine times two, yeah, fifty eight. Yeah. So that's fifty eight. Well, actually, it's more because there's a bunch of people tied for twenty nine. Oh, you're oh, right. Yeah. All right, so pro- well over sixty, it looks like then. Huh. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. When, at it. the opening ceremony, I appreciated that they shouted out they were trying to build yeah. the the women's it makes sense. scene more because I really do think that's kind of the future of the sport. Oh, one hundred percent in college as well, for sure. Yeah, you know, maybe they could do like a a mixed team. Sometime. Oh, that would be like that'd awesome. be really cool. That'd be yeah. really cool. Also, shout out to the UK universities team. We played oh, yeah. with them during our singles round. Very nice people over there. Um, they got just some people from the UK to come yeah. out to win. That was another one where they had like individuals awesome. per university that yeah. were coming out mm-hmm. and representing as a team. So yeah. it was funny because they had their their individual you know schools on their name you know, or on their jerseys, jerseys when they yeah. came yeah. in. So we were able to see some of the different schools they were coming yeah. from. That was really cool. Yeah, they wrapped themselves in the flag when yep. they came out. That <laughs> <tunnel. I laughs> that was really cool. No yeah. one came out with an American flag. So <laughs> no, I mean because that's everybody else flags. pretty much. <laughs> yeah, like but I was one group that shot insanely well. I think it might have been NC State shot forty seven in round four. Which was absolutely insane. I saw yeah. something where they shot wow. ridiculously oh well. Yeah, well, let's let's take up. a look at that actually. So this is Winthrop Meadows. Um, it's actually a pretty. I like the course. It was really nice. Yeah, I mean NC State with so twelve down. Oh my goodness! The hot round by three strokes. Yeah, yeah. that's awesome. That's incredible. Yeah, it was no. It definitely made a push, but uh, very hard to hold off Liberty. Um, yeah. Just a, a strong program. Uh, Just strong golfers, program. Yeah. It looks they had a three stroke lead going into that last day, and Clemson, you know, they really tried to make that push there. Um, but it was kind of a two horse race in this one. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, that kind of makes sense though. Yeah. With a, kind of a smaller field, yeah. you kind of imagine less less people clutter towards the top. Well, but yeah. it, you know, it leans a lot more on one of the two, right? Oh, you yeah. know, because yeah. of the teams being smaller, and so yeah, 100%. it can really be one of those situations where a star can you know push the team ahead oh, a little yeah. bit more. Absolutely. So, yeah, it'd be great to see these fill out the four. I know that a lot of the coverage they were pushing towards that as well. Even when I was chatting with uh, the PDGA camera people and and uh, their media crew, they were really interested in following this. So I know they did get some of that coverage out there as yeah. well. I know they it's did some watch. some highlights, and so yeah, you can definitely check out some of these rounds. Absolutely, yeah. for sure. Um, Emporia State also. What a stacked program. I mean, Milligan as well. Um, a lot of the schools you see in the top 10s across any division. Yeah, they are you, similar. Yeah, UNC. I mean, maybe that's just because they could send teams easier, but I think that's just helpful. Yeah, They yeah. have a lot of talent, and exactly. they really showcase it here. Well, having yeah. a full program really makes it feel like a program also where yeah. like you can build relationships of lots of different people, and that's yeah. how you – yeah. It's something we're definitely trying to strive for. Exactly. I mean, and don't we just, have a women's ultimate club? I think we do. We do, yeah. Get some of them to come out. I mean, yeah. <laughs> we got to get Carter on that. this year. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, yes, we do. Yeah. Next year is kind of like hopefully the club grows every year, yeah. but it's it's definitely a slow march, and you kind of you get lucky or you get unlucky with who comes in to the yeah. program. Right. Yeah, absolutely. Well, it even only takes one. I know that uh, you know. Shouting out to Haley uh, Bonnell or Bonnell that is on there from ISU. She oh, yeah. was one of the ones that got into the the pairings of being a one from each. You know, and yeah. unfortunately they're. You know, like she didn't get to move forward, you know, into those other rounds, you know, when you're in that pairing. It's the way they kind of did it was that the, the schools got to move forward, but the ones that were in the pairs are all labeled as exhibition on here. Yeah. And so, oh, um, gotcha. and so, yeah, it's like really important just to, you know, even get the one you can go, but you need the two if you're really going to try to put your, you know, yeah. name moving up here. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely something we want to try to build towards because ISU is another school that has that kind of program. Mm-hmm. Um, it's actually funny to say we played with them twice. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so we went, we drove. So how many rounds hours. was that this year? Like four, at five? least four. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So we drive like twelve hours out there, play a singles <laughs> round, wild. tie with like seven other teams, and then we get paired with Illinois State University, who's fifty minutes from us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Just the way it counted out. Right. Just yeah. the way the twos went. We happened to land with them, and then we yeah. tie them in our first doubles round, <laughs> and then stay with them, and then stay with them. <laughs> go to Westminster, play with them again, lose by one stroke. Um, you do took not them in the last round. <laughs> yeah, we did get them back them. in the last round. Yeah. Um, and then we played with UW Platteville on our last day. Um, nice guys. Just also kind of funny that I think they're technically in our conference as yeah, well. I believe so. So we didn't really play with anyone. You guys played we, with Ohio we State. We played with Ohio State and then uh, Georgia Tech on coverage. Oh, I caddied for that round. Yes. That was a fun time. They were really nice they people. Were they were awesome. very nice. Very, they were very shredding. Nice. Yeah. I it's always fun to just route. meet new people around the college scene, just like see what other are doing or up to you in the clubs oh they shot four down four nice. down yeah it, was it felt way better it i i think you're 
like estimating your how well you guys played that compared to a, like the B teams. We played, yeah. We played that course not great. I'm gonna be honest. I'll say four yeah. isn't that much different than what you guys had there. They shot nine <laughs> down. Oh, okay. Nine okay. Down. okay. That makes okay. more sense. This You're right, um, right, right. PGA website had some issues with scoring yeah. on this one. I noticed that. Yeah, that's I think how we ended up with a messed up score bug. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> that's, that's, that's that definitely sense. how that <laughs> happens. Um, you definitely you oh, have to click on the rounds. Sense. I think you know having four people kind of makes that difficult. But yeah. nine, fantastic. Yeah. Probably close to the hot round there. Yeah, it was it was good. Because I I was caddying through ten holes, uh-huh. and they were they got three in a row, then they parred, and then they got two more, and yeah. it was it was fun to see, and like. They were very good vibes the entire yeah, time. Yeah, mm-hmm. great guys. Really nice. One of them guys. knew Dan. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> like, well, that's what seems cool is about, like, I heard a lot of you talking about when you were looking through the teams and be like, oh, I played with that person. I played yeah, with that person. I mean, you got the whole summer where, especially when you're talking about ones from, like, yeah. in our conference still, like, there's a pretty good chance you're going to end up running into them on a card when you're yeah. out there playing, especially since all of you are in that, you know, MA1 or even yeah. MBO out there. True. It was very cool. And, like, you know, just kind of seeing guys even that we played with at Brave, mm-hmm. like Quentin on Mizzou. Said hi to him like every day. Yeah. Yep. Um, oh, obviously, ben Wagner did really well. He was one that's been yeah. on our coverage. Yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah. I saw him too. He was a very nice guy. Yeah. He did really good in the singles. He yeah. did. Yeah, I think he ended he up what, he top five, top four. Something like that. Yeah. Singles. He was pushing for that lead towards the end. Yeah. Yeah. He was one of the earlier cards, and his number was standing alone for a long yeah. time there yeah. that day. Yeah. Very long time. Um. Yeah. So. Do we want to do women's singles? Do you want? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't pull up the singles. My bad. Gloss over it. I did gloss over that one. There are just so many tabs to keep open. That's true. Um, wow. Oh, yeah. So Kelly White from UNC won this one. Yeah. That was awesome. Yeah. Very. This is a, a little bit different. They had a four down, a three down, and a two down. So very mm-hmm. close groupings as well. Yeah. Another UNC, NC State, one, two. Emporia yeah. as well up there. You know? Liberty. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. And then the University of Oregon. Yeah, that's yeah. so they sent one person. I think she's a dual sport athlete. They really yeah. advertise her, which oh, is that's really right. cool. Yeah. She won the distance competition yep. this year. Yeah. You didn't even compete in that. No, I no. was so sad about that. <laughs> Dalton was a definitely salty. not winning it, but it would be cool to just throw pretty hard one day. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. Well you almost yeah. threw out your hand. Oh yeah, <laughs> doing the speed gun. Oh no. <laughs> but how fast did you throw Dalton? Like seventy one? Yeah. That's pretty fast. Thanks, man. <laughs> Fast on Trevor. That's, oh, all yeah. That's all I'm hearing. Well, <laughs> I threw, I think, what did I throw? 65? Yeah. And after, like, throwing two throws, and then... And Trevor came in through 69. And then, and then like, he's like, you gotta... We were playing catch with the bird. Yeah. I, he called me over. I started throwing harder, and the ego kicked in. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but uh, Haley Bonnell, again, from yeah. ISU, getting fourth. That's really That's cool awesome. to see. I think wow. she's only been playing for, like, a year, too. They were saying that. Yeah, and it's kind of like a Nathan thing, too. <laughs> <laughs> ISU's fourth guy, Nathan Sporer, I think I'm saying his name right, mm-hmm. kind of just came out of nowhere, yeah. made their team that much better. Like yep. That's ca- kind of what all it takes, though. I mean, you were kind of like that for, actually, our club this year. It just, mm-hmm. like, came yeah, out of like, nowhere. He went to that school. <clears throat> yeah. I transferred here. I feel like it's a yeah, little different. That's fair. Yeah, that's fair. He's, but, Nathan's also a really great guy. I loved seeing him on the putting green when we were warming up and playing with him again. Um, yeah, I mean... Again, just so many of the same schools in the top ten. Yeah, it's crazy to see. <laughs> right, right. Again, it's that we've been talking about programs. You know, it really starts really to really feel like a program sport. Yeah. And yeah. having just more players means you're playing off each other and getting better faster, and you only have so much time to get fast. You just talked yeah. about a couple of people who've only been doing it for a year, and it's like a year on your own versus a year surrounded by people who are really exactly. good. You know, that's yeah. gonna get you up there a lot faster. Hundred percent. Especially yeah. when the people that are surrounding you are good players. You know, yeah. that's yeah, hundred percent. Right. I think that's definitely like I know we shout out we shouted out Liberty for their website like the last two times. Yeah. But their entrance, definitely the most intimidating. <laughs> they all walked out in matching bucket hats. Oh yeah. And I was like, oh no. <laughs> I was like, no. They D1 coordinated. Would, they did. They did. And they And then you, know, you guys didn't even wear we a jersey. Yeah, we couldn't walk out the bottom. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. <laughs> I think I need to defend myself with Dan here. I was at my aunt's house. I pulled up at like seven forty five. You guys didn't show up for another like 40 minutes. <laughs> My jersey was in the car. We were we played the practice rounds. We were running late and we barely made it. I should have brought the jersey. Yeah. Just got to get RJ on the Photoshop. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> if you can change Dan's hand, you can change your shirt. Yes. That's true. When did he change Dan's hand? Dan had it looked like he had like his middle finger up and he <laughs> photoshopped it so it was his ring finger. Just so impressive. It was like ridiculous. <laughs> it was seamless and I never noticed until he told me. That's incredible. Content. So he could have been, been lying. He could have been lying. Yeah. Could have been. I don't That's think so. Awesome. But uh, shout out to RJ. He shout got out RJ. at least Thank two you, compliments to me about our website. Yeah. Or graphic, People were like, or our, I'm not, no, 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 our website's Instagram. Instagram. Our Instagram. Yeah. The Georgia Tech guys, when I was filming, yeah. they were like, 
who does your social media? Yeah. It looks so good. Yeah, the it's Liberty like, guy came up to me. Oh, he was really? Like, That's sick. We use your That's Instagram posts as like inspiration for ours. Hmm. It was crazy. Should have got a shout-out from the PDGA people as well when I was yeah. talking. to. I had, a, I had a fortunate moment in the pro shop where I got to chat with a couple of the, the people from PDGA, and then uh, John Baker actually joined the conversation. <laughs> wow. So awesome. I got to do my little bit of schmoozing yeah. moment, a little name drop there, you know. Yeah. And so, Heck yeah. Um, but, yeah, that was, uh, again, really great to you know, be able to bump into people, but they gave the same shout-out. They are like, mean, hey, who, who does your graphics? That was yeah. the first thing they asked. I mean, and, RJ deserves it. I mean, yeah, absolutely. he is out there putting in the work. like Building a portfolio. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to get hired for – Really good job someday, yeah, yeah. for sure. Yeah, so overall, great, great nationals yeah. experience. I mean, it was so much fun. fun. Loved it, so good, great time. So, a couple quick thank yous. We'll keep this Midwest goodbye to a, a shorter <laughs> Midwest goodbye. Um, thank you, Nick, coming yeah, out and also letting us use the studio again. Oh, as oh always. yeah, the yeah. setup is not easy. Um, Happy to do it and bouncing that thank you right back, of course, to Caleb for being part oh, yeah. of our, our production crew and, and coming out to film. Yeah, I yeah. stole your, your thunder. Sorry. No, but you guys <laughs> coming out all that way just to you know, like I said, film. Not yeah. really. You kind of I, sacrificing. I, I played flight. some disc golf. You know? Yeah, it was yeah. worth yeah. the trip for sure. I added three more courses on my list, exactly. so that was fantastic. I've That's spread awesome. out my U disc map quite a bit. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Uh, next thank you is to Liam actually. Oh, Liam, Liam. Kelly. What I do? Uh, you came on the podcast and filled in for Dan, who couldn't be here unfortunately. He sends his best wishes. Um, but you know, it was really nice to have that perspective of the, the yeah. D two team here. Um, hopefully, D one team in the future. Oh yeah! So very cool to see that. Thank you, the Siebel Center. Of um, do you want to touch on that at all? No, just say yeah. You know, we're happy to have you here. It's been great hosting you guys, and yeah, uh, Siebel Center for Design at the University of Illinois. Happy to support. And then, of course, I know the university supported in other ways too. You guys being a um, you know a club team, getting support from Sorf and Soda, yeah. and yeah. all the other groups as well. So, yeah. Um, so yeah, big shout out to all those folks who helped us get to nationals. Right? I mean, that was a big part of that budget was helping out from yeah. the university. Thank yes, you. Very yes, true. We they made that, that all possible, especially for eight people. Yeah. Um, thank you to the club overall, you know, sure. everyone who made, put in work to this, who put in making the teams, yeah. jerseys and everything. And then last shout out for, uh, TriFox Disc Golf, uh, I'd like to say thank you. And then you can use the code DaltonH10 for 10% off their store. Great people over there. The Schick family, they run awesome events if you're ever up that way. And I think that's everything. Yeah. Awesome. Look out for future coverage. It is coming. Lots of coverage is coming. We have, I think, six and a half rounds that we're dropping. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. The half being <laughs> lot, lot the nine holes yeah, that Dan got to play. We thought we were gonna have four, and somehow we came back with double that. <laughs> so uh, you know, I guess good, uh, good job playing. But yeah, we also got a lot of stuff to produce. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. There's lots of interesting coverage. Lots of cool guys out there that are throwing different kinds of shots. So yeah, definitely come and watch. Sounds great. We'll awesome. catch you in the next one. <laughs>